Hi, Miles and Martha Loss, your local real estate experts here. Today, I want to talk about the real estate market in general and then more specific to our area. So the real estate market overall, you're going to start hearing something more and more, and that's the word recession. Recession, There, I've got a chart here from the majority of economists in the country. You see that 46%, that's 46% of them are saying it's actually going to hit in 2020. So what does this mean to you? What does this mean to selling your home? Um, you know, is the world going to end? No. And when you look at a recession, you need to look at what is driving the recession. So we had 2007 and 2009, we had a recession, but what was driving the recession was the housing market. So you had a lot of cash out refis, you had people that couldn't pay their mortgages going into foreclosure, the toxic mortgages. So you had the real estate market and the mortgage industry was driving the recession. That's not the case now. We have a different situation. And we'll take a look here. As I said, one of the drivers was the cash out refinances. If you look at 2007, that is $321 billion in cash out refis. You're starting to see commercials now for cash out refis. People are talking about they're doing it, but we're at 38 billion. So that's about a 10x difference. So we're not having the cash out refis like we were before. You're probably hearing them, like I said, but it's not an issue. The other thing you want to look at is the past five recessions we have right here. If you notice, three of them we had actual appreciation in the housing market. One, it just ticked down a little bit. And the last one, we had a lot of reduction in values in the housing market. That was because the housing market was actually driving the recession. And this particular recession is going to come up. The housing market is going to be strong and it's going to help pull us through the recession. And one of the reasons being is it's still a seller's market. We have fewer homes in the market. We still have demand. We don't have um, a large imbalance. We actually have a normalized market. Now, our market here, um, Pasco County, our particular area where we're at, we're seeing commercial constructions picking up. The roads are being widened. So we're going to have that infrastructure is increasing, which is going to help the home values. Now, as far as when is a good time to sell the home values in your area? It's really isolated to specific pockets. I mean, you've got uh, Pine Ridge at Sugar Creek, which is rocking and rolling. If you think about selling there, put it on the market now because it's a good time. Suncoast Lakes, we have activity happening. It's not out of the roof. It's not this huge thing, but it's not, you know, crash. It's staying steady. So you can sell in Suncoast Lakes and with uh, the seasons changing and the you know, school and so forth, letting out. It's actually going to be a good time to sell. Deerfield Lakes, which that pocket over there right now is not doing well. If you're living there, think about selling. You may want to think about not selling right now. Put it off for a couple months. Let the, the market in there pick up a little bit. But right now, you're not doing so well in that area. But it's going to pick up. You know, as soon as school lets out, we expect to see some more activity there as well as all the local neighborhoods. So if any questions as far as what's going on in your neighborhood, let us know. You can give us a call or send us an email.